Hello and welcome to a special Gran Turismo 7 F0 livery recreation video with Captain JJ. We will be doing this in numerical order. So first up will be number one and that is the Red Gazelle. The canvas for this is going to be the Honda NSX GT concept from 2016. So as we get into it, Red Gazelle, first off we need to do use a red colour. Some of the sections have been sped up for the sake of ease. And let's get started with this. So the colour is red. So first off, we easily find a straight line. Because on the front of Red Gazelle, there are three lines at the front towards the cockpit. So, so just see, I'm just trying to figure out a place for it. Messing about with the uh, width and height of it. So I could get the perfect height and width for this machine. So this is just going through the process. A little bit of a cut here just to show you what I did. Eventually I set, I settled with a 50 uh, scale. Turned at 90 degrees and then extended it so that it goes across the front of the bonnet. So let's speed up the footage and let's do it with the next two. As you can tell there were three lines. This only covers the bonnet section. We'll be moving on to the sides in a little bit. I also do a fourth one just to make sure I cover it. But then I've realised that uh, this was not such a good idea. All I could just do is just move it up a little bit. The other thing was I realised that doesn't work either. So I pushed the other ones upwards on the bonnet so that it will match. So select the colour. Now special colours only work on a full body. So I have to go for normal yellow colour. Might be a little bit too bright, but we'll get onto that in a bit. And that's depending on judgement as well. So let's just colour that in yellow and that's the bonnet done. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just, now let's see. Okay, so I, I, what I did there was just change it a little bit, but I wasn't particularly happy about that. So I just changed the width to 32%. I moved it down a little bit like so. And then a bit maybe I just realized at this point that that doesn't properly work. So I put it back up to 50 and put it back into its original positions. Like so. So now let's move on to the roof thing. So what I'm doing here now is moving on to the roof. And then finding out the correct decals for this. Because there was also a three pit as well, which is just towards the cockpit, but because of space, I wasn't able to add it. It's only a tiny one, so let's. So, what we did here was a triple version. We realized, yeah, that's too long. And it was only small, it didn't cover the whole area, so it was mainly towards the middle, like so. Let's just squeeze that down a little bit more. So, what I've done is 34 high, 25 width. And now we're moving on to the right hand side so we could do the decor on the right. Oh, well, actually, we're looking on the left hand side, my apologies. This is the left hand side. Now, on the sides, on the towards the rear, there is a guard, like a rectangular guard on it. If you wanted to know the full details, it's on the thumbnail. I tried initially the rectangular one, but I realised it doesn't work. So, what we've done is change the um, decal which was on there and we have decided to go for circular which works a little bit better make sure it covers the whole of the room and doesn't it's not too small so it doesn't cover it That's what I was doing there, just to make sure. Same colour as same colour as the stripes on the front. I will move on to the. We're still on the left hand side. We're still going to now move on to another decal, which is in my items. Now, if you're wondering where the um, the name tag comes from, it's from F2 GX. I was using its file change to make sure it's a vector SVG using Inkscape. Uh, it's not an exact replica of the name, 
but it was enough for her to get through. So I put it on the bottom which is accurate to where the machine is. And now we're going to put on the number. Now Mighty Gazelle, Red Gazelle is using the 0, 1. I realise, now nah, that doesn't quite work for this one, so I'm going to go somewhere different this time around. I'm going to go into the default items and use the preset decals there. Now what I'm looking for is in font. So I need 0, like so. I, put, I always put it on towards the back of the door, but before the wheel arch. It's where the most consistent placement is, where it's where most of the numbers are located in the F-Zero series. And uh, one, like so, make sure it's roughly the same height as the zero. I have to zoom in there quickly. And I realized it was too small initially, so I just made a quick adjustment. And there we go, that's the number one, that's the zero one. And with that, that is the left-hand side completed. We now move on onto the other side, and we're basically gonna do the same thing here, so, the footage has been sped up a little bit, so yeah, I don't have to bore you with the details. It's just exact replica of what I did on the left-hand side. And so, I always have to make sure that it matches near enough. And then do the same again. With a name tag. Whoops. That was not the right way. There we go, that's the right way. Making sure it matches on the left hand side towards the right, Aye, which it does. And now for the numbers, the numericals we need to do. So let's have a look here. I actually made the decision at that point to move the Red Gazelle name onto the doors as it was covering up too much by the aerodynamic pieces on the bottom to make it seem alright. So here's the one again, now we're putting the numbers back on again. Make sure it's the same width and height as on the other side. Same placement for the sake of ease. Come on let's get that in, yep there we go. And with that, that's the right hand side done. Now we're moving on to the back section. Now, my Red Gazelle has a logo on the back which has LG on it. That's the one. This is also taken from an F0 GX, done using the same protocol as the name. And this one came out much better purely because there's less, there's less details and it was a bigger, um, it was a bigger decal, bigger logo. So, from that, it's absolutely fine. Looks good. And then I will move on to the back section just before the rear wing because there is a little section where it just has one singular straight line. But unfortunately I wasn't able to make it work there. As you can see from my attempts here, I was looking at the editing area and I realised it wasn't quite happening for me. I tried the first body, then I tried the second one, didn't work so we get rid of it. And we try to do the original tactic. And like so, same colour as the shapes beforehand. And we're good. Now we're moving on into the rear wing section. Now this one did give me a little bit of an iffy time. No, actually that's not the rear wing section, my apologies. We're moving now to the right hand side. For what the original intention was for the extension of the cockpit section because the first part of it does slide down into the into the left hand side and the right hand side where the wheel arches are. Now because this is the right hand side it doesn't overlap with the bonnet. Now this is, you can just duplicate layers and it will do the same thing. You've just got to make sure it matches up with whatever you've done on the bonnet. For the sake of consistency, naturally. And then what we need to do is do the same on the left hand side. So, 
So you think that's before? But this is where we went into a bit of a pickle here because the shapes are not exactly the same. So it was difficult for me to get a, an accurate reading and to make sure it was completely accurate. And duplicate again. And like so, both sides done. That's good. Tried to balance that out a little bit, but it didn't quite work out that way. But there you go, that's just what happens at times. Check both sides, they're both alright. Trying to make a couple of adjustments here to make sure it was matching up correctly with the middle part. That's close enough to me. It's not a faithful recreation. So I wasn't exactly expecting perfectionism. Now I was going to put a number on the front bonnet but then I realised I've not got the right... Um, I've not selected the right editing area. What I really need to do is the bonnet section rather than the boot of the body. So back to body 2, which covers the bonnet, I put it on. Uh, it goes below the um, stripes. Basically the first thing you see. And then try to get the numbers pretty much in the middle. I don't think I quite managed it there. So with that done, that's the front bonnet section completed. With numbers and the correct patterns. We're going back to the roof and putting the name on here just for the sake of ease. This one's just a simple job. Make sure you resize it to the side of the side of the roof. Make sure it matches on either side and you're good to go. That's done. Wonderful. Nope, that's not what I need. Uh, I was going in the wrong section there. So what I need now is the rear wing because of the thing with the yellow bar. This is another one that gave me a few issues along the way. The intention was to do a bar all the way on the side to the top, along the top, back down again. Same yellow colour as before for the sake of consistency. The only two real colours used in this red and yellow. Aside from the name tag, which was white, but we don't need to deal with that one, it's fine. Now the top part was the most difficult part of getting this section correct. To make sure it was a straight line without an angle at the top. As you can see that angle was a little bit off, it was still facing downwards. And then tried it again, that was a skew which didn't work and then I accidentally reset the thing. 9 degrees? Nope, still not quite right. 89 degrees? Uh, yeah, that looks right, but it's too big. So, cut out yellow once some more. It's certainly too small. It's actually too big even, my apologies. It's too big for that. So what I'm doing is just trying to make sure it my fits evenly. Let's do that. Then we just need to copy with the one you did on the left hand side, on the right hand side, put it on the left, and there you go, that's the front wing done. Now it was at this point I realized that the stripes didn't look right to me. So after we've just done this, we're just doing a couple of things on a side mirror favourite. That's not what I'm looking for. So what I need to do... No, it's not in there. Shared items either. So what I need to do is go into uh, content search. Well, I could have just gone on a collection, but I didn't realise until afterwards. Type in keyword F0 and it will open up decals. Not many decals though on the F0 side, but I did manage to find the anime one, so I put that in logo. Hiroka Sonic X, thank you very much for um, 
usage of the if zero logo. Let's see, you thought that zero seven. So logos, F zero logo. Uh, stick that on the mirror. Make sure you can see it, and you're done. Now, just being got the footage here because we just need to do exactly the same on the right hand mirror. Make sure you set it on the right, set it on the right mirror. Logo on, presto, you're done. Now it was during this phase that I realised something wasn't right with the, with the front wheels. Now actually that's a lie. So what we do now is put the Red Gazelle name on the windshield. Something which I don't normally do but you sometimes got to do these things. I don't, you can just do it in the middle but what I did was just stretch it far enough so that it covers the whole uh, so it covers the whole banner. That's looking good. For now, I've noticed on the front, something doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to make a. I made a quick adjustment here, which I unfortunately edited out. So this was the original machine. So what we're going to do now. Actually, I, this is the point where I did move. I say uh, I've made a couple of errors here, but what I also did was accidentally cut off one of the lines towards the back. So what I did uh, here was that I replaced the stripes with the wheel arch from the rear. I did that to both sides and made sure it fitted around correctly. Finishing editing on one side. Now I just gotta go over to the right hand side and do exactly the same as I did then. To there. There we go. Nope, oh nope, that's not quite right, is it? No. Okay no, no. Yeah, that's it, that's better. It just makes it a little bit more consistent. So with that in mind, let's save this machine. And you can see the final detail in a little bit towards the end of this video so this is going to be Red Gazelle F0 no driven by Mighty Gazelle who is a cyborg who got caught up in the big in the big race incident a few years earlier and he was human but then got turned into a cyborg because of the big accident of the F0 series which caused it to be cancelled for a number of years so that's rendering and you see the end of it here. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. More Sonic Frontiers, more Zero liveries of Grand Tourism, and coming up soon. Thanks everybody. Ta-ra!